Uh, hey guys, today I just wanted to show you how to make a glass effect, I guess you could call it. Um, when I was recording, when I was, yeah, when I was making my, uh, the wooden floor scene, and my sister really said that the monkey looked like it was in a display case or whatever, like it could be in a display case, just because I had the mirror, the mirror modifier and a whole bunch of other stuff added to it. So I figured why not try to do that. And so here, what I did, I just got a basic cube, and, uh, added a material to it, adjusted that material, and made it look transparent. I uh, added a texture to this um, podium right here, and the monkeys reflected and whatnot. So I'll just show you how to do that. All right, so let's get started. Um, so what you want to do first is you want to scale this cube up to not too big, because now we just want to add some loop cuts, and then once we have our podium scaled out we can actually scale the rest of the cube um, so what I did is I just right, hit right here so I can see all my vertices Let's just go to 1 and 5 and so now I'm just going to go to face select mode and box these top faces and scroll them out just not too much you'll see that the rest of it scrolls out but that's fine um, now I just want to decrease that size a little bit. Now I add another loop cut with Control R, and just grab that up and along the z-axis. That'll actually give you a nice cut, just like that. Uh, we can actually add some more, and just grab that along the z. Make it better. All right. So now. Oops. Hit A to select all, and we just want to make that bigger. Uh, the way I positioned my camera, you're you were only gonna see the get out of edit mode. Just grab it, and I just scrolled it in. You're only gonna see the top of this, so it doesn't really matter what the bottom of it looks like. Just like that. All right, so now we have that position. Let's add a cube, and let's go to back to the arrow mode. Pull that up, and here's our cube. I just what I did with the cube is I scaled it s.5 make it that small but this time actually I just want to try it with a have like a dome like in Beauty and the Beast I'm gonna try it to get that effect so I'm actually gonna add a spacebar UV sphere bring that up alright so now I just want to go into one view one mode uh, tab into edit mode make sure my see all vertices is selected which it is hit B well first it's A to deselect now hit B and box select the entire bottom half. And yeah, that's good. And now let's hit X and delete vertices. So now we're left with this dome right here. Let's go back to 1 and box select these bottom vertices down here. E <coughs> to extrude and Z. Just down like that. Hit 1. Just see how that looks. Yep. Right now hit A to select all and I'm just going to scale it down a little. Hit scale it 0.5. And we'll go back to one, and I'm going to actually hit A and B, box like these bottom vertices, and just grab those down a little bit more. Right now, hit A to select all, and just take that down, level with the podium. Yeah, that's good. All right, so now we want to add my monkey. So let's hit spacebar and type in monkey. Bring that up, and scale that 0.5. Probably even smaller because of this. It was fine with the cube, but not, not with this one. Um, so I'm actually going to hit 3, rotate it just so, so it's facing up. Hit 1, rotate it so it's slightly tilted. Hit 7, rotate it towards my camera. I'm going to grab that and position it in the middle of the UV sphere. Hit 1 so I can bring it down. See my UV sphere. Just rotate it so it's kind of facing the camera, just like that. Bring it down a little more. All right, so now we can just scale it down a little bit more. All right, hit one. So make sure it, it looks like it's touching the ground. Three. Yeah, that should be good. All right, so now that we have that in there. Um, let's add some lighting. So I just want to go up here and add a lamp. And let's tab out of edit mode. Oh, that's going to be bad. 
Actually, my monkey is. If you add something while in edit mode, uh, your your both both of your objects join, and we don't want them joined because whenever we add the effects to the uh, UV sphere, it's actually gonna add it to the monkey. So, with your monkey selected, let's hit P and by selection. So now you see that your monkey disappears. So let's tab out and hit Z. Your monkey's still there, but it's separate. Tab A to deselect. At, in this circumstance, it's pro a good idea to actually uh, be in to actually be in um, I'm just posi positioning that because the ear was a little out to be in uh, wireframe mode alright so now that we have that all right, let's add lighting and spots and just bring that up and over your monkey and right here under the lighting tab we want to decrease the size to Maybe that much. Um, let's render that, see how that looks. The lighting's a little off, but we can fix that. And you can see it, it's solid, but we can also fix that. I just hit three and I'm just positioning it to be right over my cube. Taking it up a little. Yep. Oops. Let's hit one and three. There we go. I just now gonna open up another window where I can see my renders. I just like having that on. on. All right, there we go. I just re-render that, and the lighting's right there. Uh, once we add the effects to the key to the cylinder, it'll stop looking like that. So now let's do that. Right-click on the UV sphere, not the cylinder. Sorry. Add a material, and we want to go to transparency, and we want to turn the alpha way down. That's what makes it transparent. So now if we render this. You can actually see the monkey in there. So let's just turn that even down even more. And turn down the specularity. That's what I did with my other one. And let's render that. But your monkey's in shadow because it's actually inside the cube. In the inside the UV sphere. So uh what I found a way to get around that was under shadow, uh click a deselect cast buffer shadow. So now if we render that, it actually looks transparent. So that's what we're going for. So now we see our monkey is in position very good. So that's what I'm just gonna change right now. Alright, re render that. Ah, that's better. A little better. It's rendering pretty fast right now just because we don't have anything um anything really complex like meshes like high poly multi poly meshes I'm actually gonna give this a five energy and actually change that to like an amber color a warm amber color maybe not too much just barely tint it I think that was the one I used it's more like peach but let's see yeah that's good alright so now I didn't use a UV sphere before so I'm just guessing we want to subsurf it just so it doesn't look so chalky. Well, first smooth it. See maybe if that works. Yeah, that that looks better. So we can just leave it smooth. But we do want to um, add a subsurf modifier to our monkey subdivision, and put the render time to two to three. So it's not going to look like this, but it'll 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 have it. And so now with our monkey, we want to add a material, new material, and we want to add mirror. I'm actually closing these just so you can see real time what I'm actually changing and how it changes up here. So we want to increase the reflectivity. And it's basically all we want to do with our monkey. So let's re-render that. Make it look more metallic. Yep. And I think the light's a little too strong because in my picture it actually does look more metallic than the other one. Yeah, so... I don't want to exit. Okay. So now let's change that color. Let's try that. Yep, that looks better. We, we don't want to have it all white. So then let's just zoom in here. Yep. And just I'm going to go one view in my camera and I'm just going to grab it and hold down the scroll button just so I can zoom in a little more. Just like that. Alright, now we want to hit Z to enter. Whoa, looks like the head's sticking out. Uh, let's hit. 
let me just scale our cube a little bit bigger then there we go alright let's re-render that but now we just want to add a texture to this surface right here which is what I'm gonna do now um, so let's right click on our podium hit tab deselect the mm, a view all vertices and go to face select mode right click on this top face and hit P and by selection so now that's its own it's like a plane basically so now with that selected we want to add we want to add a new material I don't, I don't know I'm just gonna add a new one and enable mirror and the reflectivity to be sort of there and just decrease this white this is also how you get metallic color so if I change that to be like gold or whatever you can get a gold color alright so uh, after that let's add a texture so click on texture add new and just download any granite I'm using the one for my video before any granite material basically um, it's actually a marble this time I was actually going to do a video about that but uh, not anymore alright let's render that It's taking it longer to render just because you have more, the blender has more to work with. So, alright, we have that. I also deleted this light in my before scene. Alrighty. Um, what else can we do? Yeah, just on the plane, it's not so reflective, so I just want to make that a little bit more reflective. And let's see. And my cylinder. My cylinder isn't as reflective as I'd like it. Well, let's add mirror just so it looks. And let's see what that does. Hit F12 to re render. Alright, there we have our monkey and our monkey reflecting on the marble surface, which you will see it does happen. Um, I like it that the marble is just based on this focal point. I like that. And it actually looks transparent. Our our light, which... Alright, I think it's a monkey head. Okay, that's the monkey head reflected off the top. Okay, I was wondering what that was. Uh, we might want to lower our reflectivity a little, maybe. Right there. Or maybe uh, decrease the gloss so it's more matted, dimmed. Diminished color. Alright, let's see now. So yeah, that's just basically how you do it. If you tweak those settings that I showed you how what to tweak. Okay, so see the gloss. Where was it? The gloss. I lowered it and this came up. Uh, I'm just gonna talk over this. Um, the gloss is for like a frosted mirror. It would really work really well with that. Just because you see, it just mats it, just like that. A any reflective surface that actually has it's actually bumpy, so it doesn't reflect very well. Uh, the frosted glass is all I have to compare that to, but that's just basically what gloss is. Um, we see here that it's not reflecting right at outright, so this would actually be good for like metal, which it's not like a mirror, but it actually just reflects part of it. Uh, elevator doors. Um, what else could it work with? Well, a bunch of stuff, you know, um, just railings and stuff. So uh, there we have our monkey. You can tweak the settings with the monkey also just to have effect an effect you would like. And if you didn't like the cube, the UV sphere, you can always just do the cube, which I did right here. That's easy to do. Uh, just do a cube instead of a sphere. That's all you got to do. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please comment below. And yeah.